Good morning, viewers, and welcome to our weekly devotion. This week, we'll go through Romans chapter 8, verse 18 through 28. In this chapter, Paul is more practical about the issues facing believers today. Believers will suffer at this present time, but the future will be better. Paul confirms the words of Jesus Christ in John chapter 16 and verse 33, where he, say, he told his disciples, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Also, the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 22, where he said, All men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. All these indicate that Christians must expect to face challenges in this present time. Today, is, today we look at Roman chapter 8, verse 18 to 20. In verse 18, Paul makes clear that the greatest shame believers may endure for the sake of Christ here on earth will be a mere strife when Christ calls them forth and publicly acknowledge them before the host of heaven. Even the agonizing pain of the martyrs will seem like pain pricks when the Savior rewards them with the crown of life. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17, Paul emphasized that if we as believers could only appreciate the glory that is to, is to be ours, then we could count the suffering along the way as trivial. Paul explained that the glory that is to be ours as believers outweigh the suffering that we face at this present time. In first night in Paul urge the whole creation to be eagerly looking forward to the time when believers will be refilled to the world as the sons and daughter of God. This will be when the Lord Jesus returns to reign with his followers. As believers, we are already the sons and daughters of God, but the world neither recognize nor appreciate us as such. In verse 20, the word in hope at the end of verse 20 is an indication that in the future, creation will be set free. May God bless you as we continue meditating upon that portion of the scripture. Looking forward to see you tomorrow at the same time. Amen.